Welcome back to our ninth or ninth edition of Let's Talk the Blog. So here I am talking to you and we will load the blog to be displayed. Yeah, there you see the fake moon landing Apollo project. Look up the meaning of Apollo. You always give and then you know. Then moon was very important. Because this way they could make the people believe in deep into space. Three hundred thousand miles away, really deep into space within I think three days. We have to imagine this, yeah. At that time cost maybe two hundred miles per hour. Be, but magically they have engines and they can go in space. Of course, people must believe this because they don't know about and they, they think, oh, in space, you know, where there's no gravity, you can float as, as possible. However, the way Tell us, and so the people just believe. There's a nice song about this. If you believe they put the moon, you know this song? Left. What is the meaning of this? Right and left, how it came to existence. This term is asked from the English Parliament, where the Conservatives sit to the right and the Progressives sit to the left. And so you can say the right wing and the left wing. So the right wing, and the name of the word says already, is and is, is uh, connected with the word righteousness, as you know from the Bible. So these are the right people. They want to go the right way, the conservative, the traditional way. But the leftist people, also called progressive, people want to do that way. They say, oh, this is not good and this is not good, there's uh, no freedom. So they catch uh, the folk with the word freedom, equality and brotherhood. But in reality, it's all Christian words. And so they are in this parliament and the history of the English parliament and when Benjamin de Israeli who has a larger uh, Wikipedia site than Adolf Hitler have a zip. <coughs> This Benjamin, is, he came to power, and I think the connections behind are about uh, Rothschild, Waterloo, all these things, Bank of uh, 
these uh, or this Jewish uh, politician became prime minister twice. But it doesn't mean that he's really, you know, high up, that he's really ruling. But that was also at the time when the crown of the world was of Queen Victoria. And so in exchange of the crown of Britain. So the crown of the world or the Commonwealth as we know nowadays at that time England was in the world through the trade, colonialization. Um, so this meant actually more. But the trick in this was the Jews got converted to a heart of the, the homeland. This is England. The, actually, the city of which they control. And you know, the Queen nowadays has to ask for permission to enter the city of London. So she is an outsider already. Uh, so Queen Victoria gave actually the power away when she was crowned in, I, I don't know, somewhere in India, I think Delhi or in, in Bombay. I don't know anymore. And so she became the world leader, but only as a puppet, more or less. Yeah. Because who's uh, managing the colonialization? This is the the, the trader, the international trader, and the international trader, internationals, the international Jew. These people organize the colonialization, as we have been taught, how the English and the French, and I don't know what else, but mostly English, French, uh, Spanish before, Swiss, Dutch, Belgium had a colony, Germany. No. It's only Jews out of these countries organized this, and they used uh, the English army as tools, useful tools uh, against, you know, uh, uprising tribes against this colonization, like the Buran War or in Afghanistan, and they could not even win with guns against these. Uh, and this is also. A hint for you to see what's when you bring these uh, black and Afghan Pakistani people uh, into Europe for the next crisis, the crash. You can imagine for the population, there's no, no chance at all. When not even a heavily equipped army can defeat these people, they are kind of undefeatable. Like uh, the Gorkha fighter, who are also in the British Army elite, or you know the Vietnamese people. So there are certain countries you cannot just uh, defeat with military. Yeah. There are other ways to use. Anyway, back to right and left. So in this uh, right, your right and left, your left, left behind. So in common, you have this term link. Link is for the internet in English, but uh, in German it means fool, foolish, wrong. You are fooling other people when you are. The, the term says exactly like this, and they call it the Lincoln. Yeah? We are the Lincoln. So. They, and they seem not to realize that this is not just the direction of the left hand, but it is really the attitude. Your faults, falsehood is the right word for this. False people, and this is exactly now. Now, even uh, many leftist people or communist people believe in in these theories. It's like a global um, with a global what is this heliocentric uh, theory? They leave the theory like it is. So, what's right and left? 
actually say very clear what it is. But it does mean nowadays and on that everything which is called right wing is really right wing. You can see with the national socialist movement, but in actual fact, people said one time that they are the radical left, leftist. Radical. Radical is uh, a term in Latin, radic, and this radic or radic is meaning uh, connected to the roots. And this is really where we have to go on. We have to be radical and we have to uh, get the roots. So at the moment, you don't know the roots. Yeah? And that's why you think radical means with violence and you have to make revolution and bring the government down and whatever, or fight against it or otherwise. It does. It, it isn't the meaning. The roots is the the offspring, uh, no, not the offspring, the spring, the source of everything. And when you know the roots, then you react totally different. Yeah? So the knowledge is very important. So then another term you have certain colors they use for different political parties. Red colors used usually for something which is social you know, social they called it social and i always thought social is a very good meaning because it means uh, we do things it means you know this falsehood brotherhood and uh, the equality we are all the same but we are not all the same we are all individual men and women are not the same and so the social is actually now very uh, has very bad impact Bad meaning. Yeah. It's actually the opposite. From and so you have red color and whatever, blue color, uh, black color, Christian, Christian parties, and green color. So green came up as you know uh, heavy industry, and, and you know the whole development or development I like to call it pronounced like this I'm also coming to this word also um, that you know in the 80s the, it was founded as actually more basically ecological but the Greens uh, they are not only in Germany in Germany I think may be the strongest um, the Greens uh, sounds like nature of lava the environment. Now we learn already the climate, uh, the lie about the climate change and so on. So you, you it's all made up since the 68 moon and you have uh, the seed for feeding ground that uh, you have this kind of people believing and Till today, yeah. green doesn't mean only nature or doesn't mean only Islam. It's another uh, meaning of the color green, but it is it means uh, green. So that means you are a newbie. Whatever term you use, it means you are a child. You are like a child. It's you know, when the plant is growing, it's also green and not for it, so and has no fruits. So, this is green. that means green. You are childish, inexperienced, um, not ripe yet. And let's have a sip first. So, childish, inexperienced type 
this to look at these greens and uh, that if you are up to your right then you will see that this is totally great these people and maybe this is also why the greens are known for uh, pederast uh, behavior that means we like to have uh, contact to children Pedrarus actually, um, in my opinion, I didn't check thoroughly, uh, it means boys, but you have this, also these stories where they came open up with the in the 80s also, and they wanted to legalize uh, pedophilia, but with these politicians, I found all the sort of loving kids sexually, but it is a perversion. So these politicians, uh, now it's come out, all these things, the, the politicians, the judges, the lawyers, the bankers, and also the church members, probably they have this in common. And uh, I think has with these uh, secret societies like Freemasonry where you become a member and you have to do certain things and I have heard about that when you go to the when you become a member of Freemasonry you are invited to become a member <coughs> you have to make certain tests and this test you have to see what is this you know the box where the daddy comes inside before put in the, into the cherry. So this, uh, I don't know how to call this in English, but this is for the dead body that you have to hide, like a mufti, <laughs> you know, the, um, I forgot the name of this band, but it was in the 80s and 90s. Um, and then they have to masturbate and then they have to tell other members uh, about what they masturbated so this way they actually reveal something and so they reveal information about themselves and that's why they are vulnerable and once you are in the into this uh, Goethe's Faust, Dr. Faustus make it the devil you actually don't get out anymore only in this house, he shows um, a way how uh, to uh, disconnect with the devil. But it's not easy to do. So that's why these people have to go. Uh, and this is what will happen now. And so it is known that these people do certain things and you do more and more. First you have only parties with uh, young kids maybe and then later on you have to do some experience with them uh, you know cut off some parts of the body or or you kill them or whatever so it becomes uh, very cruel and some people I think there's even now a businessman from the nerds he was talking about it you can find maybe that uh, that he could do it. He said that's that's now too much. Then he's out. Yeah, and he went out and finished uh, anyway. So these people are all involved in this. Can be sure, of course. Men and women, the same way. They have the term progressive. And progressive always meant uh, that it is, you know, to a better future. Have a zip. But now I'm to have to uh, have a look <coughs> for the term. Progressive. 
So it says very clear pro contra that means for for aggressive aggressive and then you already hear oh aggressive is also in but when I put this word aggressive in Google Translator and find anything. But then I deleted the V and I found grassy. And this Latin word grassy, so that this is a Romanian language or something. Then I realized this is already the source. This must be the source. So, th because uh, in creating languages, this is another topic, they can uh, take away letters and, and add on letters. The V, which is also the victory sign with your hand, and this means actually the devil sign. Yeah. Now, when you look at the word T in Latin language, it means conspiracy and this conspiracy is of course in all secret societies you keep secrets you, you keep quiet <clears throat> and this is the way <clears throat> of Satan absolutely yeah. you are not open you are secret uh, things behind the back of other and again and so this we behind rest actually they put the because that people don't uh, don't have a clue what it really means yeah. when people they would know progress oh that means for these uh, people who are who call themselves progressive are for conspiracy but when they put a V behind then oh what it means and then they get a, a meaning for the whole world and they swallow and so it means looking for because also uh, conspiracy actually the, this is also a correct interpretation because they have their agenda so they look forward to fulfill their agenda so the B is uh, it could be another letter but the, the right letter for this, the devil side okay so the powers you have to when they call it progressive, uh, they call it with another you know translation. This meaning progressive mean you in English. Then you have to know oh these are conspirative uh, people. These will be very they tell you this way and mean otherwise. That means that all progressive powers are in a conspiracy. It's, uh, you know, moving forward it means nothing else than go on. <clears throat> you go on. You go away. What are you going away? You're going away from... You can say you're going away from Eden. No? This is the, uh, the way of uh, human. So you're going away from Eden. And Eden means actually the source. Maybe the source, the source spiritual source. <coughs> God is uh -huh. going away from. See, this is all meaning of uh, away from God, a away from the creator. Everything. This is the right term. God is the creator of everything. So every is it. Every element is you can see this 
German term, you, you can uh, ask something. Uh, it's like the end, the end of some. So, uh, when you are spinning, you know, with the spinning, with the spinning journey, then it's go uh, until there is nothing left anymore. And this is where we are going to. But in English, you have an even meaning of this term, German term Entwicklung. is development. And this I found out myself. The well of end. The well of the will. And man meant always means mental, referring to you and uh, to your mind. Yeah. So mental and the well, uh, well, if I pronounce it correct, not to say devil, devil. So they to pronounce it in, an, in another way that English people don't realize that there's the word devil inside. Because you have also the D-E which actually in, uh, in language from something. But it also means uh, you know to do something again or it's the D-E uh, uh, show for this, but but then you have the well. If you if you say no, this is this D and well, but well you have the well of course. Uh, e -L, but uh, this is not uh, about the well or something else. Being no, this is devil. They will because the E can be an I. So you have to pronounce it another way, and then you see the devil already. Then I have the uh, if we have O some operation, but it is separation, but it is op, and this term is uh, from Dutch language. It is or in. Actually, it means on. Develop means the devil on your mind. In your mind. But on your mind is also, you can say, like sitting actually on you. The spirit. Yeah, the dark spirit. So he's controlling your mind. This is development. And so you hear the term development or you read it somewhere. Have a new development in the city, and it actually has good meaning. But when you hear this term uh, thoroughly, better because it never means good. If you use the term develop, it's always bad, and then you have to know how oh, this is bad. Development, this is bad. And then what really can be bad about it? Find it out. But and how do you think? Make a new development? You don't look at this. But when development means there's a devil on your mind or people's mind to do the development, then you look then you will see also the evil thing. So then we have another parliament. It actually should be uh, in the, in the yesterday, but uh, but it is no, no, this is right because we talk about the. 
is a I was writing also like this that I put the the stack A in the job you write with an I also. I don't know. Oh, maybe I know why then I uh, there you see the same thing. You see PAL, then the A, A, and MENT. MENT means mental. AMENT, uh, AMENT, a mental, and then PAL. That means, uh, this is from French language, PALEZ-VOUS FRANCAIS, means you speak. And we know that the people speak at the PAL. So it's it's about speaking, uh, speaking mind. It's it is the speaking mind. People in the parliament like speaking mind. They are always sitting. And they are speaking something. Uh, we don't need to judge over this is all stupid what they speak or this has makes sense somehow. Uh, it is Hitler called. Uh, Speaking tournaments. These are speaking tournaments. He saw this in the Vienna uh, Parliament of Austria Hungary and he was surprised he saw the behavior of these people. Nowadays, many are others are sleeping. Uh, he is speaking in Croatian language and the other guy from, you know, from Austria doesn't understand <laughs> what he's talking and um, so on. Nowadays you have translations but they don't, they're, they're not interested in this. He, he had some questions and he said something wrong. These people are actually not really working, they're just there to listen to this, uh, you know, uh, time. They don't want to be there all the time. Uh, and then uh, they are getting paid for this. this is only to make the vote because the people uh, they vote for these people so the people the folks no, no voice that sense of let's say 500 people and only it's about 600 people or in other places 400 and then this uh, this amount of people with the people's voice in the back, they vote for the pro. Yeah, and uh, if you don't get the majority, then they will vote again. They have the majority. So just a just a show. This is not serious. I mean, this is a serious issue, but uh, this is like a childish game. Machine. And this is very shocking that most of the people don't see through the don't understand. This uh, parliament is for me also something like, uh, you know, it is uh, talking all kind of bullshit as well. We don't need such things. Yeah. I mean, in the German government, in the Reichstag, actually, uh, I would call it in the Reichstag building, but it's the Bundestag, they destroyed the thing above and made it then, you know, you can walk around the glass and you can look into the parliament. You can also sit in the parliament. Uh, up above, yes. but yeah, they don't see that you know, there's nothing, nothing really inside there. No. Signature. This is important. Some signature, um, and so you can make it, so it becomes legal. It's only for legalizing all these things they plan to do in their agenda. So now about the system, like a computer system. Is it
the system uh, would have a uh, behind. I mean, of course, I've already the system finances finances both sides. Because capitalism and socialism, as we have more, I of one one the same dual and this is also what many people don't know that actually everything does to show also what had asked about Soviet Union and America. Soviet Union was founded in New York, from Wall Street to New York. Yeah. So uh, this is all the same people, all the same Kabal, Kihila, you call it, the Soviet. It's just another for this. And so it combines with the finance, it controls both sides. Both sides the money to do the things that they have to do. But both sides think themselves that they, they, they act more or less individually. So the members of the political parties sides think that they actually move something. But the move is only going to this direction of the so you have to be accountable for yourself this is the only solution for this so called global problem the globalization everyone has to become responsible for this is to go because at the moment we are the only childish people the people know quite well how uh, they are very well adjusted, better than me, for sure. But this functioning will not help them because like, every week there is a new law and more and more crazy laws, like the EU laws, they say how the fruit has to grow or the fruit has to be the banana has to be sprayed and uh, the tomato has to uh, rise or something. This they do with people as well as they do with them. because, as you know, by the Jewish, uh, the Gentiles are seen as animals. And so, you have to you have to see through all this. You have to see these conspiracies. You have to understand this. And the problem for Gentiles for the so-called white people is really they are so gentle that they cannot imagine that someone would do such dark things or they don't see that this is a bad thing yeah. so they will have to experience and I think it will go on even for another hundred years it could be it's not just a matter of uh, 10, 20 years uh, it will worse and more but I think there is no other way it is necessary. We, when all people say, okay, if it's like we stop now and we turn back, as Jesus calls upon uh, his followers, turn around and go to me. Go into the life. Because it is coming in 2012. Since December 2012, you know them. Maya calendar. I see already in the direction of the light. Look to the east. Uh, you can also call it the rising star in the east. Uh, be careful about the Lucifer version. So I would not call it star because the sun is a star. And you know the geocentric uh, world theory. Then this is just the sun coming up again. You see already, you know, the, uh, I call it the dawn, but it is uh, a little light and it's increased more, but it means a hundred years until it is fully light. Uh, so let's say the night is over. Yeah? And this is uh, what is starting now. So the people who who wake up, they look into this direction already.
then I would like to uh, stress never believe in any statistic, any Yiddish statistic. All the statistics are controlled by the same people. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I have to, uh, uh, you know, announce them with this term Yiddish or Jewish or whatever, but it is as it is. And I think it's important to name the devil as well without hatred and without uh, violent thoughts because they just do what their God is telling them. And they don't make most of the things for sure and other religions as well. They don't think that they pray they pray uh, to the devil. And they think that this is really God. And so also these people have to find out the truth. So all the statistics are falsified. And uh, yesterday I just saw a video of a German policeman who uh, might have been bad for what he had publicly about what is going on. And he also something very important be uh, how the statistics are uh, and this is like this um, the police you know after maybe after, after the day uh, uh, you know when he goes out around and has to deal with things now with the refugees then the report and in this report, he's writing all these things. His boss is sent to his boss. And his boss is collecting the to make a statistic out of this. Yeah. And then this... And he thinks, this doesn't look good. I have to change a little bit better. Because the next time his boss, again, will say, no, we cannot have it like this, okay? And then he understands the only way this is to change the statistics yeah. for his own good because he wants to have the next yeah. uh, this policeman was also talking about the benefits and ranks uh, that the, 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 is waiting for they are hungry for, for the food they are dogs yeah. and so the, uh, at the police station then he will send the report or the statistics to the, no, to the municipal or to the whatever to the next uh, higher country, a county or whatever, however you call this, and every country is different. So you can imagine, and the higher goes until to the Minister of Interior Affairs. It is always changed and it looks good. So you cannot make a bad statistic so it looks somehow acceptable. And in the end you will see it um, looks like the foreigners are actually criminal as the uh, German people, an example, as the local people. So you can then uh, forward this to the media and you can say, look, uh, please uh, you know, publish this. This is the official statistic, and most of the people that believe it, and they think, oh, everything is fine. Yeah. So this is the way how it works, but reality is quite the opposite. So, and I think that the situation is not as worse as it could be, uh, but the police, this guy is really mentioning something like it happens on a daily basis and so it has certainly increased and it will increase even more that's for sure and it can be prevented the way they work so that's why i don't put in the these statistics
you never get out a clue out of this because you know what is combined and so on. You get a wrong idea. And I think I can read statistics quite good, but uh, it's not for sure. Yeah. Never believe in any Yiddish music if you didn't falsify it yourself. It's a quote. Freedom of speech is actually you allow all kinds of opinions. So you can say whatever you want. It's actually freedom of speech. He was uh, so not a good word or something, but all the words are just, uh, just words and they should be accepted as it is without any but not everybody or most of the people cannot accept this and they react emotionally or the system has to act on this in another way that uh, because it's endangering the system. Yeah. So when somebody says, let's say the worst thing, fuck, I want to go. Fuck bastards. Yeah. So then this is uh, his opinion in this moment because of emotion. Yeah. So normally people can find out, ah, oh, yes, a problem. No, this is now too much for him. His tolerance is over. Yeah. He cannot uh, carry on like this anymore. So then you leave this guy alone or say, come on, what's the problem now? Uh, don't be so serious about this and so on. So anything what people say, this was the worst example, and I think many people know uh, these uh, kind of feelings, emotions, uh, then the problem can be solved by itself. This is maybe just a, a moment when people are feeling aggressive, angry. Yeah? So, that means uh, freedom of speech should be possible, of course, but in reality it is not. We have this political correctness term and uh, people can not say anymore what they want. And now it seems like in Germany they have a new law coming out. It's not active yet, but I think it's not active yet, but uh, it's coming out that when you say anything or you write anything, especially social networks, YouTube and uh, Facebook, you're not you're only being blocked, but you are also sentenced. Because uh, there was a meeting between Chancellor Merkel and uh, this uh, David, and, uh, David, what is his name? Mark, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, and he was in Hamburg where Facebook has his, his uh, head office, I think, for Germany. And they talked about this, and so well I know, it was about censorship. And she actually wanted Facebook to take care of the censorship, and she said, we, we cannot do this, or we will not do this, whatever. And so, there are no organizations from the system that take care of this. So they, they look for this, they have their spies. You have people always, especially leftist people, who report uh, some uh, comments that are not in their line, you know, not political correct. And so people are reported and then the prosecutor will take out this and then the people are sentenced mostly for money you know you have uh, to pay money a fine okay, then you have to go to jail up to two years yeah. only for your opinion
so far probably but now this new law seems to allow to you know to collect all data from all cell phones uh, in Germany and you know send it to the main computer and then they can look up who's saying what against the government and then you know, pick up these people so the thing is this is actually the Stasi 2.0 <laughs> not even more because before it was uh, a judge a court decision uh, for some terrorist suspect that they had to look at this officially and officially I'm sure that they already for with the telecom the German telecom and now it is official officially that they can you know uh, so students over people over the peoples it's all called crime thought and I think it's also in other Western countries like this so you have to be more careful of what you are saying uh, especially you have to inform yourself about the law in your area so it can, can go on to express your opinion there you see the suppression already that's no more freedom of speech that's for sure yeah. and it is now very scared uh, of the people who are growing up this is just a few people actually it's not uh, so many uh, but uh, already they are scared and I think they do a mistake with this because when they would allow this you know you, you can still say whatever you want uh, these people who, who warn other people wake, wake up this is uh, going into the ground uh, they would not have a voice to the other people because the other people would say what what is your problem i can say what i want you can say what you want you are free here we are not slaves now more and more people will wake up because of it has to be like this. so anyway another thing is about the elections again that wouldn't change anything then fit already there would not would not be any election this be a change from the agenda. So when, when the globalists or the system people talk about the change like Obama, then it will be only a change in the meaning of the agenda because the agenda also changes. But the real change turning back, that's not going to work. And this cannot be done with elections. So do not change anything. And another thing that I found out is that the actual state, as we learned in school, uh, state, you know, that means not privatized, was changed already in 2006-7. In and I remember also in 2000 that the city had no more money and all other cities also mostly had no more money and when you are bankrupt that means the state is bankrupt with uh, you know this uh, what is this debt, national debt then you have to prioritize you have to sell all the, the assets exactly what happened since 2006 and this we have this found until last year at least
yeah, until last year that uh, you find now government bodies as private companies. Now you can call them government agencies. So the changed. And there is a certain law or actual that is uh, making this. It was cleaning up as they call it. And finally, allow us calling. Yeah. Um, about the elections in the generation, then there's, um, I don't know how to call this, the, the court of constitution, the constitutional court decided twice even that all elections in Germany since 1956 are illegal. They are not. That's also interesting. Huh? They make this decision <laughs> against the system actually, but uh, this is what. So we are now at the end of this. Uh, this was this part today without. It's only talking today. You can research yourself all these uh, keywords, and tomorrow I will do this one about the Jewish money system. And another day I will do this part here. So, we are not even at the half yet, so it will be another 10. more so anyway going back out of this. let's talk about the blog and I greet you from the flat earth have a nice day